Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another exciting episode of Cook with IJ. It's your girl IJ. So on today's episode of Cook with IJ, I'll be showing you how to make the salad soup known by the Igbos, white soup as its English name, then uh, afie fairy as a Calabar name. It's very common among Calabar people, afie fairy. So this is a no oil based soup and today I'm going to be introducing a special ingredient. So please sit back and if you are new to my channel do not forget to click on the subscribe button and notification bell so that you get notified whenever i make new posts so let me take you through my ingredients because i already processed them ahead of time so that we won't waste a lot of time so i had already gone ahead of time to prepare these ingredients so that it just makes it very easy so here i have my cocoa yam paste i have my already washed goat meat or fowls, goat meat intestine, you may choose to use whichever meat or protein you want to use for it, it's totally fine. So I have my dried fish and some stock fish, I have two different leaves here, I have the utazi leaves already washed and sliced, I have my uziza leaves already washed and sliced as well. Then I have my Aden fruit, Aden pod, it's called Yoko yoko. If you want to go to the market, tell them you want Yoko Yoko or Uyaya. <laughs> so, it's, I know it's called different things in different dialects, but this is what it looks like. So, when you go to the market and tell them this is what you want, they give it to you. However, this is our special ingredient. You know, this is packed with a whole lot of nutritional values and health benefits. It helps to improve your libido. It helps to do a whole lot of things. So I'll just leave those in the description box so that you get to look at it whenever you feel like. Then here I have my seasonings, my local spices. I have my yellow pepper already blended. I have some black pepper. I have my spice my white soup spice my salad spice however it is i have some salt to taste i have my crayfish powder i have some already sliced onions i have my seasoning cubes we'll just get started these are all we need for uh white soup so we start by putting in our meat into our pot then we'll add our salt dried pepper our seasoning cubes our onion so for this we're going to be using just very little onion and that's why i added just very little to season up our meat and i'm just going to give it a quick stir before i turn on my cooker so the reason why we're stirring this is so that your ingredients are well incorporated into your meat so we'll just cover it up and turn on our cooker so we'll let this cook until the meat is tender say for about 15 minutes and then we are ready to add up our remaining ingredients so our meat has gone um, say 10 minutes since then so we'll just check it and add in some water be adding in our masala spice so the reason we're adding it now is because we want all that flavor to go into our meat and i'm just going to go in with my yoko yoko i already washed it before now so i'll just drop it inside so we'll just leave it to cook properly until the meat is tender then we'll go in with the rest of the ingredients it's quite a very simple dish to make but all you need to do is to get the right ingredients and do the right things at the right time and that's all you need so you notice that once you have added these spices into your dish the aroma of the entire kitchen changes let's just wait until our meat is ready and we're going with the rest of our ingredients our meat is ready so all we need to do now is just add some more water then add in our stock fish and dried fish so we'll let this cook for 10 to 15 minutes before we add in the rest of our ingredients so we'll just check 
remember i said you can always use any protein of your choice you can choose to add some snails you can choose to add some giant prawns whatever you like inside your unsala soup so now that we have it at this level we're just going to go in with our cochlear paste try as much as possible to separate it into smaller chunks so that it can dissolve faster the essence of the koyam paste is to thicken our soup some people use yam you can choose to use cocoa yam powder anything of your choice is fine so i just prefer to use cocoa yam for mine so we'll just cover this and let it cook for a few more minutes until our cocoa yam paste is entirely dissolved in between your cooking it's important to check how far your cocoa yam is going and just Try and see how possible it is for you to use your, your spoon to make the grinding process or the dissolving process faster. Just exactly the way I'm doing it. So this makes it faster for you to dissolve. I learned this from my mom actually. If you notice, you see that our soup is going from becoming watery to thick. So any large chunk of cocoa yam you see, you just try and see how you can mash it against the sides of your pot. Just like this. Then we'll cover again for a few more minutes. So don't forget to taste for salt. Remember the salt we added in the beginning was just to season our meat. So I'm just going to go ahead and check the level of salt so the level of salt is okay so now we can see that our soup is entirely thickened and we can't find any more lumps of cocoa yam all we need to do now is go in with our crayfish powder and our yellow pepper so the reason i'm always adding yellow pepper into my dish is because it adds a lot of flavors to my dish it brings in it brings out a lot of flavor when you use yellow pepper, it doesn't have the same taste or effect as um, red pepper or green pepper. These different peppers have different flavors and tastes when you add them to your food. Mm, this is this is delicious. So I'll just let this cook for like five minutes and I'm going with my last ingredients. So it's time to check our food. See the way it is boiling exactly as it should. Give it one quick stir and another taste. Perfect. As spicy as I want it. Remember that you can reduce the quantity of pepper that you're adding into your food. I just like mine spicy. It gives it another vibe entirely. So you can choose how salty or how peppery, how spicy you want it to be. But for me, this is the perfect consistency. I'll just go in with the last ingredients. So this soup is one soup that has a lot of accessories. See, I can go over and over about this soup, but you must remember that this is the point where you have to take out your your koyoko, Aden fruit, or oh yeah yeah, I'm not kalaba. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. So it's at this point to take it out and just wash it. You can keep it to dry or dispose it however you want because you can use it again. One ingredient that you can use over and over. All you need to do is just preserve it correctly by washing it and drying it perfectly. So now we'll be going in with our last ingredient, which is our leaves. It just gives it a different taste entirely when you add your Otazi leaves and your Uziza leaves. Now our soup is ready. I'll just let it simmer for a few seconds and I'll turn off my cooker. So now our soup is ready. I'll just be serving mine with some delicious oat milk. Please don't forget to try out this recipe and let me know what you think about it in the comment section. I'm always glad to listen to you. I'm always glad to help. So it's time to dig in. Enjoy this with me. So I'm having mine with oatmeal, but you can choose to have yours with fufu, semo, ebao, whichever one you prefer. This is delicious. You should try it. Just let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. See you all in my next video. I love you all.